What's going on, guys? It's me, Cameron, from Deceptical Gaming. And I want to change my name, my channel name. It's not a gaming channel at all. Although, gaming channel will be coming. I promise. My birthday is in, like, literally three days. Today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. My birthday is on Tuesday, so... I'll be getting the PlayStation and my friend Rev Shocks. I'm gonna ask him to help me on getting all the videos and stuff like that off the PlayStation. So, yeah, expect some videos then. Until now, I'm a review channel. So, what we have in store for review today, this is mainly also to tell you it's my birthday, but to, to test the capabilities of this camera because this is a new phone. I got an iPhone 7. Anyway, I wanted to test the capabilities, if it's, you know, graphics are any better. So yeah, today we'll be reviewing, just an easy review, Legion's Class Strong Arm from Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015, I think. So yeah, she's got added weapons, they did not come with them, they are Halo Spartan weapons. Yeah. These kind of Halo Spartan things, you know? Look out of here. Um, yeah, so... She's a nice little figure, I'd say. Minimal robot kibble. I mean, minimal vehicle mode kibble, apart from these giant shoulders, which are obviously the front of the truck. Also, the top half of the doors, the window sides of the front cabin doors. She's got that, yeah, getting close in the face. Pretty decent face. Let's see if it focuses. Focus. It's gonna focus. No, 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 not gonna focus, all right. Um, so yeah, uh, sculpting and details is pretty good. She's got little thingies on the leg. She's got knee pads. She's got a utility belt, I I think. Yeah. The one thing that amazes me with Hasbro is the amount of detail they put into little spaces. Like, come on, that detail there underneath the hand? That? It's not really... It's like, honestly, unnecessary. But they do it anyway. And, yeah. I'm one of the... I'm not... I'm more on Hasbro's side of things. The people that kick off about Hasbro and how bad they are. I go with Hasbro. I think they do a pretty good job for what they have. I haven't been in the Transformers collecting um, fran like franchise for very long. I'm only I'm 15 now, and I started when I was nine, back in 2007 with the first movie. So I've only been collecting since then, with little periods of breaks. I mean, I had that. I had that um, phase going on a little while ago, but yeah, I've only come back into the Transformers recently, about a year ago. I will do a review of my biggest collection. Anyway, so we're getting back onto some strong arm. So yeah, not much to her. Uh, articulation, I should say. Uh, focus, motherfucker. Focus on the figure, not the background. Thank you. So, articulation, not much. She's got shoulder movement. It's on a ball joint, so I can go backwards and forwards. You can wiggle in and out. Arm can go up and down like that. Same with the other one. Legs can kick up only a little bit. You can go back, not very much, because the bulk of her thigh. How it was moulded causes problems, and then she can bend the knee. She can go like that, but that's more due to transformation. So yeah. Now on the topic of transformation, let's get into it. So of course, these being Legion classes, they're small. So they're easy to do. So what you want to do is, we attack it from the legs here. Or no, maybe we should attack it from the arms. I don't know, we'll just wing it. So with legs, not much to it. There's a... Peg there, goes into a slot there, just line them up, done. Now you turn it like this, 
grab here, fold the legs back, and just put them in, like so, and that's the back of the truck done, literally. So then you come to one of the arms here, fold it down, fold it round, like that, to the front, this, you can come in here, you gotta, you gotta try and slip the hand behind this peg bit here, and then it'll fold up, like so, and then just fold in the, win the window, and there, same as the other one, clip the front together, pull up this, make sure the hand goes past the peg, up, fold the window in. That's strong arm in vehicle mode. Focus man. There. And she is a little pickup truck. I don't know. Looks like a Dodge Ram or something. One of those big American trucks. Something we don't have in Australia yet. So yeah, it's it rolls. Kinda well. The wheels. Focus man. Mate, these spin, this one is quite tight where that one's loose, that one's light, that one's whatever, the other two are they're fine, so yeah, in terms of accessories apart from what I gave her, these little handguns, I have to go out of focus all the time, I think there's too much colour in the background. Apart from these, she comes with no weapons. I only gave her those. But you see, there is, I think that's a 3mm hole for weapons. So we'll bring in a Halo weapon. Just because they're the only things I know that have a 3mm hole. What do I have? Sorry about this. This is not planned. Here. I'm just bringing this shotgun here. This. And you can just. Okay, maybe not. Alright. No. Nope. Scrap that. This is too big for that hole. So it must be a. This must be 4mm then. No, I don't, I don't know. But anyway. Normal Cyberverse, no, not Cyberverse, like any Legion class weapon will fit in there. Yeah, she's entirely underneath there. But yeah, um, we'll just get in some, we'll get in another Legion class character for scale. Just get him into vehicle mode quickly because this is an old Uber. That's Bumblebee from, I forgot what he was originally from, but I bought this in Cole's part of the Legion class for Age of Extinction. You can see that. The truck scales pretty well with most, most cars. Uh, we'll bring in a uh, fellow franchise mate, Steeljaw. See how that scales with an um, warrior class, not deluxe class. So yeah, I don't. Okay, we'll bring in. We'll bring in a. Bring in a deluxe class. Titus returns. Just so you can see how it scales. Yeah, so she's a neat little figure, I'd say, and worth the seven bucks. So anyway, that was the review for today. I wonder how this outlook, how it would look. But anyway, it's my birthday. In the next few days, I'll be getting a whole heap of stuff. So I will definitely do a video on what I get. I'm not going to do a review on them necessarily because I don't know how. I know one is a leader class, and I'm not quite ready to do leader classes yet. But anyway, so without further ado, I bid you a happy 
What's this? 10th of June? And this is Cameron from Deceptical Gaming signing out. See yous!